This is a story of what's below the fog. Are you still losing? You never win at this. Do you have any cookies here? We haven't had cookies in a while. She has disappeared and isn't around to hear that. You're dead. It's you just the sweet that. innocent voice of, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. You're dead. dead. You're dead. Go with mysterious. Ah, the best answer. My name's Destiny. I'm going to be the one that takes you down below. Oh, I do this all the time. Um, you've all said your goodbyes and you ready? I'm going to warn you now. Um, I really hope none of you are screaming. Because the world here is meant to kill you. And we are back. Red has joined us once again. I think I'm echoing via Amber. Uh, I mean, shouldn't be. I have my headphones on. No idea. But, um, yeah, no, I'm definitely echoing. My voice suppression is even on. Weird. Either way, we were doing a pantomime story with the magic man, a child who is afraid of taxes, Ahsoka the mysterious magic caster, and newly appointed Zulamar the evil villain, who has taken control and captive of Rhea, who is in a magical cage. Yes, so Zulumar is going to stand and stride towards the stage. Um, and when he gets on stage, he's just going to rub his hands and be like, Yes, I am the villain. <laughs> and when you do that... I'm just going to uh, make sure. Oji, Go ahead. Oji raises his hand, gives the nod to, to Mist and to uh, uh, to Vitani. And mm. while Andrea makes thumbs down motions with, 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 with its arms, a sound comes out from the boxes that Oji has provided them. Amazing. And then Zulamar takes a bow. Several children join in on this booing. Because <laughs> why the fuck not? So, Zulamar, you have been cloaked in shadow and flames that are illusionary for obvious reasons. And as you are standing in the center, the magic man is circling the three of you while you all look toward this princess. And he looks at this hero, this once was a child and is now an adult hero, and says, How, he, dear hero, do you intend to save yonder princess? How shall this story unfold? And this kid looks between the princess and he looks at Zulamar, and he looks at Ahsoka, and he goes, Okay, so, you're supposed to help me. And he points at Ahsoka and says, What can you tell me about the bad guy? And then he points at Zulamar. Ahsoka um, kind of thinks for a minute. She's just like, 
I think if you aim for the knees, you might be pretty good at getting. <laughs> but don't hurt him too much. We need him alive. Right, right. Questioning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And oh my god. Do your worst, hero. This child takes that to heart and is going to run at you, Hulamar. And I took this personally. <laughs> took it this really person. said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Hulamar, you have a choice. Are you going to A, let what happens happen, or B, try and make this good? Try and make this good. Okay. So, I need you to figure out how to make a child that rolled a natural one oh. trying to swing a, a sword made of light at you into something good. <laughs> oh my god! Are we still able to post in dice jail, by the way? Yeah, you can post in dice jail. People just won't see it. Damn it. Um, it was lagging out too bad, I'm sorry. That's, That's all good. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Drake. Uh, regrettably for this, okay, so see it, it's a boxing ring. Let's imagine perhaps just face planting. Perhaps he. Uh, I don't know how you were were gonna spice up his that one. Damn it. But basically, Zulamar is going to assume if the kid doesn't reach him with the sword of light and, like, he trips or, like, stabs the floor with the knife, he's going to be like, Now is the unlocking of the magic net blade spell! <coughs> so basically, he's going to say that the sword has more reach than it does and that, like, if you don't hit your target, the sword casts its own spell. Okay. Yeah. That's what so, I got. The kid is yet to get up. But as you say that, the magic man sees where you're going. And... Yeah. The magic man is going to wave a finger. Just, just gently, but behind the kid's back, and wave a finger up toward him. And the ground beneath this child is going to turn liquidy, and then in, it's going to solidify into what looks like a mirror. And this kid's sword of light, which he tried to stab, and it slashed through the floor, is going to slash across the mirror, bounce up, and then shoot and stab you in the chest as you say that. Yep. It's the one I was just going to I need hold you up. to take... Okay. Five points of emotional damage. <laughs> Let me know when you write that down. To my hit points? Or I'm just taking emotional damage? That doesn't Write down emotional points. damage. Emotional okay. damage! damage. <laughs> emotional damage. Bye. We're all fighting fears. <laughs> Minus of emotional damage. So, as this kid is trying to get up, he slips a couple of times on this new glass, like, sphere of ground and looks at you, Ahsoka, and goes, Your turn! While he's trying to stand like he's skating <laughs> on something that he's never tried to stand on before. <laughs> Um, so Soka's trying <clears throat> to not laugh. <clears throat> um, but, uh, I'm trying to think what she would do. She can't, like, use any of her magic. She doesn't have magic, does she? Uh, you have your cantrip, you have the items at your disposal, and you have your wand of made of smoke. And shadow okay. that you know will cast whatever you want because it is magic given to you by the magic man. Gotcha. Okay. Um. 
I'm I'm probably just gonna use the the wand to make it hard. I don't I don't know about hard to see. It's not the word. Foggy. Oh, when Zulamar got stabbed, he's just gonna be like, oh, this is but a flesh wound. This but a <laughs> Right, so okay, so, so when Zulamar is kind of bent over from the quote-unquote flesh wound sort of light, at this point, Oji's just going to surreptitiously open a little box. Little tiny insect drone's going to kind of slip out and just kind of quietly through the crowd and everything like that, and then land on Zulamar. And then from the wound, there's going to be an explosion of light causing him to glow the same color as the sort of light as I cast Fairy Fire upon Zulamar. Because I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this, too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it, Zulamar. You're not even going to try and like make the save. You're just going to let it happen. Oh yeah, no. He's totally gonna just let let this roll. Alright, and Ahsoka, you are casting you're a trying for something to impede this person's vision. Yes. Alright, do you want me to flavor that or would you like to? You can. Alright. So <laughs> you see that there's this light glowing from this wound and it's covering this evil villain and you're like, okay, how can I how can I get this? And you stop and you go wand is made of shadow, it might be good for something. And you not throw the wand, but you throw your arm out, and then you just sort of wave it in a circle. You don't really say anything, because you're like, fuck rhyming. I don't know how to rhyme. (laughs) Yep. And as you do, smoke starts seeping away from the wand itself, while while maintaining its shape, and then it just zips towards Zulmar, and Zulmar, you feel a black satin blindfold tie tightly around your eyes and you are now unable to see. He's just gonna be like, oh. Pesky, magical sidekick. (laughs) Had to go and ruin it. Can't even see. Zulmar, if you're gonna sell this, you have to do something. Oh, well, yeah. Um... (laughs) <laughs> God, I'm on the spot here now. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> okay. fantasy game, babe. You don't gotta think too I hard. Um, well, he wants to, like, counter spell and to try to reverse the blindness. Alright, you wanna cast counter spell on yourself? Well, like, I don't have an actual counter spell, but yeah. That's why I'm, I'm trying to look at my stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. Whatever you have, fucking forget about it. This is a game of okay. illusion. So yeah, like he's gonna cast the counter spell on himself to remove the blindness. Because you can't be an evil villain if you can't see. <laughs> so Zulmaj is gonna be like, oh, you think you have me, but you, you don't. I have an idea. He's just gonna be like, okay, you go for it. Would you like me to flavor it? Please do. Ahsoka says, I can't rhyme. And she casts the spell on you. And you go, I can't rhyme either. But that's not what comes out of your mouth. Because you feel this itch in the back of your throat. And instead, it comes out... I may be blind, this is true, but you're in a bind, and so are you! 
and you point your finger out, and suddenly black ropes appear and wrap around both Ahsoka and Vihira. <gasps> Damn it. <laughs> the children are losing it. They are out of their minds. They're like, how are they going to get out of this? Oh my god! Oh no! And this kid is like, just like, stop, freak out, breathe. He takes a second, and the sword is at his side, and he lifts it up, and he starts trying to saw away at the ropes. And he looks back at you, Rhea, and then goes, Can you throw something? <laughs> is, is his arms out? His arms are not super out. He's trying to cut at his bindings with this sword of light. Mm-hmm. And he's looking at you, I mean, asking you, can you throw something? I mean... He's not asking if you can throw and... something for or at him. He's just saying... I mean, yeah, it's an illusion, something. so she can, so yeah. she knows she won't hurt him. Okay, she's going to take out that glittery uh, toy axe that she won at the axe throwing <laughs> and throw it through the fake uh, bars at the, like, ropes and, like, pretend to cut it. Okay. Uh, roll for that, and just tell me what you roll. Okay. Okay. Oh god, which dice? We're gonna use this one. The glittery one, considering her axe is so glittery. Um, okay, that's... Co- okay, 12. 12 plus... What am I rolling? Is this a... You already beat the game. Okay. Uh, so you throw this axe that you dig out of your bag, and the magic man sees it flying through the air and goes, hmm, yes. And... It enlarges and slices through the bindings of the hero. And the hero is so excited and almost slips and falls and busts their ass again. And they eventually slide off of this mirrored surface. And they look down at the mirror surface and then they look over at Lumar. And then they look over at you, Ahsoka. And they take the axe and they come over and they start cutting you out. And they go, I have an idea. We need to get him onto that. It's okay, it's now your turn. Okay. And Zulamar's still blind, correct? Yes, Zulamar is blind. <laughs> okay. So she's Ahsoka's gonna take the wand and she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna look at Zulamar and say, come here! And drag him with the, the wand. Kind of like pull him towards her. Gonna like lasso him and yank him towards you? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, in some Mortal Kombat style fuckery. <laughs> Get over here! Get over here! <laughs> I was thinking Axio from like Harry Potter, but I can't say Axio. <laughs> Accio. Thank you. You know what? Lightning lure. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lightning lure is literally expelling. August's favorite. <laughs> Pretty much what you do is uh, you move around. I'm going to say this is for fun. You move around to the other side of this mirrored ground and you shout, come here, as you cast the wand and you grab onto. Uh, Zulamar by his fake billowy robes and you yank your wand back and Zulamar, you stumble forward onto what feels like ice. What do you do in response? He's gonna cast something that freezes his feet in place so that he doesn't fall over. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I have an idea if you want me to flavor it. Oh, go for it. Uh, you hold I out mean, your the hands. the magic man is really the one pulling yeah, the, the strings here, so. The magic man is kind of talking through you, because he gets the feeling that somebody's got a rhyme in this fucking joint, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be the villain. You cast your hands out to either side of you, and you aim them towards your feet, 
as you're, you start sliding and slipping around, and then you say in a voice that is deep, no longer sliding but standing still, one of you will bend to my will. And Ahsoka, roll a d4. Okay. On a one or a three, the child is taken over. On a two or a four, you are taken over. It is the child. <laughs> the child is taken over. It's a child. one. <laughs> it's the child, because I rolled a one. It's the child. That's perfect. <laughs> so this kid, who has just freed you, looks between you and Zulamar, Zulamar says this magic land incantation as his feet freeze to this icy ground, and Zulamar still just kind of like, oh, do not fall. Do not fall. And then he goes, Am I supposed to help him now? Aw, oh, man. And he punches you in the shoulder. <laughs> um, oh. You take three points of emotional damage, and you feel just a little bit betrayed. <laughs> it is your turn. Zulamar is just gonna, in the background, kind of have a little evil chortle. Why did I picture that super gay laugh from What? The gay laugh from what? <laughs> from TikTok. <laughs> oh, it's preppy. It's whatever you want to do next. It's just your turn. Uh... Okay, so from my understanding, because my brain just had a brain fart just now, um, Zulamar froze his foot on the on the, with ice on the thing, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And then the kid almost fell. No, the kid. No, Zulamar like took him, took control, quote yes. unquote, of him. Took control, so that means that the kid now has to be on the evil side. Oh. <laughs> Until the spell is broken. And you can tell he doesn't want to do this because he thinks you're cool as shit. But obviously, he's got to fight you, so he punched you in the shoulder. <laughs> well, it was my first thought to shake the child. <laughs> Shaking baby syndrome. That is, shake the baby. That, that is not no. baby syndrome. I don't know. Well, I turned out just fine. Okay, so uh, Ahsoka's gonna like. I don't know how to word this without sounding like bad. She's gonna grab him by the shoulders and lift him up and say, Get a hold of yourself! You're a hero! You can't do this! And, like, try to persuade him to not be evil. Try to fight it himself. Alright. Uh... What I need to roll for that? There's n nothing you could roll that would get the child out of this spell at present. Dead. Because he rolled a one. Oh. Oh. This little oh. child. I need oh. you guys to know that I don't think these dice like me. <laughs> Which is good for you! Those? Good for you! That child. A cheat, liar, or oh DM, DM dice? Of course we're gonna choose the back lo black light ones, because all of those other options sound terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> um, one second. I'm gonna get you some more DM dice. <laughs> Go get Peach's dice. <laughs> I could grab Peach's dice, they're right there. Or what about the- oh, wait. Yeah, I gave them to you. The, uh, yeah, they're in Peach's bag. The... Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Alice is so cute. Alice. 
sorry. You went to Doc Ock? Yeah. Stabilization. Mm, okay, I haven't seen uh, this one, so. Ahsoka, before your turn ends, I need you to read what I sent you. Like, you can't do anything, I just need you to read it and let me know when you read it. Read it. find it yeah okay i'm trying to i'm trying to read it because my dyslexia was like what's that say oh yeah i read it now <laughs> okay, okay, okay. so ahsoka that ends your turn <clears throat> zulamar it is your turn now you have control of the hero of this story <laughs> and you have the princess and you have the whole stage what would you like to do Um, can he get the the hero kid to somehow get rid of his blindness? Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's right, Zulamar's still blind, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna make the kid reverse the spell on the, on him so he can see again. Uh -huh. Um. He's going to. Should he continue to try to rhyme, or can he? While the kid's under his control, can he just tell him things? Got a rhyme. Okay. Are you gonna try it, or am I gonna have to think of something? I'm gonna try it. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm shit at uh, rhyming. I am too. It's okay. Better him than me. <laughs> God, I used to make po rhyming poetry off the top of my head, so you'd think I'd be able to do this. What is it you want to do? What? Uh, uh, I almost had it. I was almost there. Nope, never mind, I lost it. He's gonna reverse the spell. Um. Shit, I don't know. Sona, you're faster at this, apparently. <laughs> okay, hold on. I was trying to go with, like, blind. Okay, hold on. And hold. I got I got something. You point at the hero and say, "You there boy, come reverse this spell and with it both of us will I don't know. You there boy, come reverse this spell and with it we uh, Oh, and with it, yes, the story ends well. Something like yeah. that. He does that. Forgive me, I'm shit at this. And then he's gonna wave his hands and beckon the child forth. You do that. And the kid looks between you, and then he looks between Ahsoka, and he goes, I can't help you because I'm grappled. And then he sticks his tongue out and blows a raspberry at you. <laughs> Fucking child. <laughs> I mean, you do have him held up off the ground. He can't come I help do, you yeah. Can <laughs> I put him down real happen? quick? Real quick, yeah, you can put him down since it's your turn, because the kid can't do anything. Okay. <laughs> when did she do that? She she literally said, Lester and I pick him up off the ground. Oh, like, by his shoulders, that. and I'm know. like, snap out of it! <laughs> Trying to be like all like the hero sidekick thing, you know? Right, right. Uh, Ahsoka, so, it is now your turn. So you want me to do the thing that you sent me? 
Yep. <laughs> However you want to flavor it. So seeing that this this kid's still under the spell of Zillamar. Yeah, under the spell of oh. Zillamar. <laughs> the quote unquote spell, yeah. So um Ahsoka hears this slight whisper in her ear that tells her how to help the hero. And she looks at the kid with the with like who has like the biggest eyes possible. And she's like, I know how to break the spell for you. And she takes the wand and she like hits the top of her head and like this magic sort of flows down her and reveals that she's the real princess. Uh -huh. And not the, the one that's in the cage. <laughs> the illusion from the beginning that all of you saw of this little girl holding flowers in a field turns into Ahsoka. Or it Ahsoka turns into this illusion. And this kid, who was once an adult, sees you and goes, Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> and he grabs your hand, so it's weird because illusion, so eventually he does find your hands, and he goes, I just saved a princess. This is awesome! Uh, oh my god. Zumar, you have been thwarted. And Magic Man me, tells you such. On? He comes behind you and he goes, he, um, he says, As the evil has been thwarted, are there any last words before we banish you all from the realm? He's gonna be like, I will be back. And next time, it won't be so easy. Uh, the Magic Man laughs and says, We've heard it all before, haven't we, kids? And all of the kids laugh and cheer, and they go, You suck! Not to the magic man, but to you specifically, Zulamar. Yeah. And wow. the magic man says, There's only one way to get rid of evil in this house. The curtains on the front open, and light shines in, and the magic man slaps his hands together and then pushes out his palms, and a firework shoots from both of his palms directly at you, Zulamar, and as you close your eyes before the blast goes off, you disappear. And then the firework crackles and sparks, and there are little lightning bugs and firefly blooms and little balloons and streamers and glitter everywhere throughout the tent. Zulamar, Where does Zulamar actually end up? is no longer there. And the <laughs> kid, the illusion of him being an adult, slowly fades, and he goes back, and his hands are practically above his head as he tries to hold Ahsoka, and he looks up at you and says, Best princess ever. Aww. And then he hugs you around the waist and runs back to his parents. Aww. Aww. And the kids are all getting up, and everybody's moving around. And what would you guys like to do? Well, where's Zulamar? <laughs> are you looking around for Zulamar? Yes! That's Roll the second time he's disappeared. <laughs> Roll for it. Oh, shit, where's my dice? I put it down. I put my apple pen down in my bed and it evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> Can we all look? Yeah, you can all look for Zulamar. Oh, good. Okay. Is that oh, serious? Uh... Wish... There it is. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Raya rolled a three. Ooh, Damn. Nat 20. Like total. Nat 20. Ooh. I got Ooh. a five. Why did that Nat sound like? Nat 20 on perception? I got a rock. Yeah. Perception, sorry? Yeah. Oh, seven. Uh, a 15. Uh, 11 seven. for me. A 17. Natural 20. So 24 for Andrea, who Jesus is just Christ. a robot. <laughs> a little, little helper friend robot. Alright, so that means Vitani, Mist, Andrea, and Aji. Oh, I don't. 
Oh, wait, oh, no. I got 11, so maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. Um, oh, all right. Um, her axe. Yeah. Um, you, while your friends are freaking out, looking for Zulmar, going, where the fuck is he? Where, where the fuck is he? You all turn, and you see that Zulmar has been relocated to sitting next to what looks like a cotton candy machine. <laughs> and he has a very large cotton candy in one hand and a confused look and a party hat hanging off one horn. <laughs> There's also a sash across his shoulder and down to his hip that says, I participated. <laughs> there, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ahsoka, you are also wearing a sash that says, I participated. That's I can just picture Andrea's just like still got the thumbs down, and as soon as Zulamar hears someone else just turns in that direction, and that's how Oji noticed. It's like, what do you do? Oh, yeah, you can stop that. Andrea's just like, <laughs> you get a participation <laughs> award. Everybody gets a partition. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you guys like to do as kids are milling about getting food from the stalls that are inside the tent? Adults are milling through the exits or ushering some kids out. What, do you, what would you guys like to do? Uh, food sounds great. Uh, Tani's gonna steal some of the cotton candy that Zuli has. <laughs> Alright, which color? Because there's blue, green, and yellow on this cotton candy. Hmm. Green. Rumor's gonna take a taste of the blue. He's really curious as to what, why these people are eating colored clouds. The blue. colored clouds. We just learned what clouds were. <laughs> I know, like growing, like they just learned what clouds are, and now they're being shown this cotton candy thing that now people are eating. eating. Why are they eating these guy like, sheep? We can eat. We can eat these. How did you get these? Are they like up super high? <laughs> They must harvest them. They harvest the clouds? I guess. Why is it yellow? (laughs) The blue Uh, tastes like coffee. The green... The blue tastes like coffee? (laughs) Yes. The blue tastes like coffee. (gasps) What kind of chaotic world is this? You know what? I was okay with everything until this. (laughs) Coffee-flavored cotton candy? (laughs) But blue... I thought this was supposed to be a horror realm, not the best place ever. But blue. <laughs> what does green taste like? I'm so curious now. The green, yes. the green tastes like strawberries. <gasps> oh. What other it. color was on here? What was the yellow? yellow. The yellow one. It tastes like cheese. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, I hate. This is being puzzled in cut candy form. <laughs> Okay, that I have might, a question. That might not be bad. Like, is it, does it taste like cream cheese dressing? Like, like, like you, you would No, it tastes like, like cheddar want... cheese. Like extra sharp cheddar cheese. Ew. How dare you? Like, wow. it's savory or is it still sweet? Because it's sugar. It's savory. <laughs> additional questions. It's like savory. Ew. You don't know how it's, how it's like cotton candy, but it's cotton candy texture while tasting like sharp cheddar cheese. I hate it. Ew. Do they have all of, like, do they have coffee in a mother, uh, Saint Sister? In Saint Sister? Yeah, they would have the, they would have coffee beans, so you'd be able to make okay, coffee. Good. Okay, so he does what that tastes like. He's gonna enjoy that one. He's just gonna eat all the blue parts. There's other flavors at the stall itself if you wanted to go back and get them. I like the strawberry. What other, what other flavors are there, though? Because now I'm curious. There's some melon, Same. there's basic lemon, there's just straight chocolate, there's flavors that are, like, actual foods, like, there's chicken pot pie flavored, there's, like, like, like turkey sandwich flavored, and then they've got other more, like, fruit flavors, and then others that are, like, mixes of flavors, like, like, cream and berry this world, flavors. This world Can just I... w- took, like, uh, those weird game jelly beans and took it to a whole new level of cotton candy. Does this mean Vitani can finally have some fucking rotisserie chicken 
without <laughs> dropping dead? I mean, yeah, it'd be cotton candy flavored, but there's also probably actual rotisserie chickens out in like the bigger tent, like the, the bigger area, not just inside the tent. Because inside, it's a bunch of like candy and foods like that, like little things for like kids. I gotta find some chicken. I'm sure there's some meat stalls. I'm gonna have a skewer for me and an old friend. <laughs> Are you guys exiting the tents to go look for some food? Yes. What? I what color is the lemon flavored cotton candy if yellow is cheese? Lemon? It's like a light pink. Pink, okay. pink lemonade. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to leave the tent. Zulamar's going to hand the yellow portions of the cotton candy to some wandering child. <laughs> They have a fun. You on find the hero of your story, and you hand him all of the yellow cotton candy that you have. <gasps> Do we find any like kind of mice people? I'm gonna let you know right now. Kid does not mind. Actually, he's grown up with this kind of stuff. Doesn't hmm. think that's pretty chill. It's like cool, free cotton but, candy. At least someone likes it. Gulmar says, "Consider this a peace offering." A peace offering. <laughs> <laughs> I love how just the entire gifts are you guys going, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Aji, yep. your detect magic spell was a lot yeah. of illusion, transmutation, summoning, um, just a bunch of different magics mixed together, but they were cast so fast and so often that they sort of blended into this new kind of magic that you see has a new name in your mind and you feel has a new name in your mind, but you don't know how to describe it. It's something different. Interesting. Like, Fascinating. It's like it's, a, it's like it's in the writing of Below, if you can't read it. Sort of, yeah. It's like seeing an imaginary new color. Mm-hmm. Huh. That is interesting. So as you guys exit the tents, Magic Man no longer on your mind. You see stalls for various... There are various food stalls. There are also some more game stalls. There are stalls that have food and games. So what would you guys like to do? What are you looking to get into for tonight? Uh, I was just actually going to turn to Miss and say, all right, what would you like to do now? Well, I mean, are we trying to be team players? Or do we just want to get the things we want to get done? She's like, old Mist would say she just wants to go and find some studded armor at the leather workshop that I saw. But... Would it be good for like team building if we played teams or we played games? And she's gonna kind of give him like a slightly pained smile. I didn't ask be good for the team. I asked, what is it that you want to do? We did what I want to do. I got to see the show. What do you want to do? Well, then I guess I want to stop at the leather shop. Let's go have a fun little shopping trip at this, uh, the leather shop. Oh, Zulamar's gonna go, I want to see what this dunk tank is all about. Dunk tank? Yeah, uh, didn't, uh, Dust say that he's the one that gets dunked? <sighs> You're right, I completely forgot about the dunk tank. Yeah, so it's something to do with little kids. I just figured we just did axe throwing, which apparently all the little kids were doing. Maybe this dunk tank is actually quite fun. How about we search for some chicken or meat? I'm not biased. On our way to the dunk tank. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, Zuma's gonna look to uh, Raya and Ahsoka. Raya said that she wants to go to the dunk tank. 
Oh, perfect. What about Ahsoka? You want to join us, Ahsoka? Sure. Cool. I could, I could use something to eat. Being a wizard is hungry work. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> all right, so you guys all head in the same direction in the beginning, and you see that there is a stand that has turkey legs, chicken legs, some other weird bird legs, a bunch of other like skewered meats, <clears throat> things like that on little on little kebabs, and they are beckoning. They're trading with people items. Ooh. So, what would you guys like to do for that, if you want to go over there? What kinds of things are they trading for? Uh, depends on the person. Some people are trading, like, um, coins. Some people are trading what looks like golden gilded items coming out of their hands. Uh, other people are trading, like, material objects. Whoa. I'm gonna look through my inventory for something to trade. Since you guys have stopped that, Mist uh, and Aji, yeah. do you guys keep going or did you also want to get something to trade for food? Sorry, to get something to trade for food? Yeah. Or like, did you guys want to stop to eat and trade something? As in, did you want to get something out to trade for food? I'm confused. Are they just giving away items for us to take? I don't understand. No, no, no. Of... Oh, no. I meant, are you getting something out of your bag to trade for oh. food? I'm so like, are you guys going to eat? I'm confused. No. That was on me. That was badly worded by me. I will accept that. No, I was actually already looking through what I've had in my bag to trade for potential armor, so to be fair, I was a little distracted. Okay. So fair. that was also on me. <laughs> I've got three options. Okay. So I've got currency. I don't know how well that's... I don't, I don't know how much that's accepted here in particular. Um, <laughs> I could whip out a lute and play a song. Or <laughs> the only thing that I am willing to trade, and even this is like a begrudging, trade <laughs> is a little erotic fiction book that Batani brought with her. Oh my gosh. From up above. That's it. Those are all the things that she's willing to do slash part with. Which How one will be reading? accepted? <laughs> In my inventory it's literally just written a thin, untitled, leather-bound book containing erotic fiction. That's it. Wait a second. Did Oji take Zulamar's green staff? No. He did, didn't he? Wait, I he was what? getting rid of it. He wanted to get rid of it in order to take the staff of recall or something like that, and he said green he was going to just ditch it. Um, green nah, wooden staff, and it didn't do anything. I still have it in my inventory, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, I, I don't. Somebody said, no, I don't want to. Oh, it doesn't easy. do anything <laughs> magical. I don't know. I wouldn't take it. Well, one person Except at a time. Like a pokey stick. Who wants to go first to get food? Vitani. Okay. So you go up to the stall, and there is a woman with dark brown skin and her hair in cute little puffy pigtails. Little afro pigtails. She has little... Oh. Uh, a uh, little sort of a uh, they look like grapes almost hanging from the mm -hmm. pigtails around her ears her ears are pointed and she has bright vivid like green eyes she looks at you and goes hi uh hi how are you i'm great i mean i'm not but i'm great oh what are you wanting um honestly everything looks great. Can I just have one of everything? I mean, we do have a kebab of everything. Would that work? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Awesome. What will you trade me for it? <laughs> you know, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the book. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so she holds up her hand, and her other hand, she has a she reaches down for one of the spears of kebabs. She holds it up, and she sort of just stabs it through the air, and then the meat comes out of the little containers and off of the grill and slides onto the kebab by itself. And then she Whoa. takes the book and she flips through it and she goes, ah! and then she hands over the kebab. <laughs> <laughs> you see her just tuck it into her apron. Who's next? Let's go. Uh, Zilma is gonna walk up. He's next. Hi. Hi. What can I do for um, you? I think I will have the same as my friend the everything kebab and I have a block of incense here cool and she's going to do the same thing stab through the air hold out her hand take the incense sniff them and go ooh yep I'm giving those to Beach and she hands over the kebab and says next um Who else is next? Can I try to trade oh. a mushroom for a couple? Sure. Uh, she'll give a a green mushroom and a red mushroom. Cool. And she takes them and she puts them in a basket full of other like mushrooms and other foods and things like that. And then she gives you same kebab as the rest of them. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, same kebab as the rest of them. <laughs> Anybody else want anything? Hmm. So now look at Dicedo for a second. And he says you're watching it on your phone. The Tawny's assumption of the vendor's energy. Oji. <laughs> Oji is going to approach. And he says, Well, I don't exactly have a thing to offer, but I do have a service. And he leans in and he gives a nice little smell. And then he takes, he looks around for a bit and he takes a smooth rock, waves his hands over it, and he holds it to the, to the shopkeepers. Smell this. And he creates a rock that will emit the scent of the best smelling, most delicious kebabs in a 10 foot radius. He says, for the evening, I will set up a couple of these for you to attract more people. Fine, delicious kebabs. How does that sound? The, uh... <laughs> the stall owner goes, I mean, we're doing great without that, but, you know, sure, you could have just, like, picked a rock, rock up off the ground and just given me the rock without the fancy enchantment. <coughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> this is not rocket science, my dude. He's just like, hmm. Huh. Well then, I think I'll do that then. If that's the case, man, you guys treated down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! West, Mist is going to just start as they're looking at food, and she's just going to start like shoving rocks in her fanny pack of holding. <laughs> As you do that, you hear She's not an idiot. You you hear your same little man go, What do you do you need an umbrella? A what? An umbrella. Umbrella It's it's the fanny pack man. It's the fanny pack man, he's asking, Do you need an umbrella there? No, no, I'm good. Alright, well if you need an umbrella or some sunscreen, you never know when you need some sunscreen. I have fur, I don't think I need sunscreen. Thanks though. Okay. <laughs> Fanny pack person has the same energy as you who takes them a blowout. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> so Asaka wants to get some meat too. <laughs> okay, do you have any specific meat in mind that you want, or do you just want the I same? I just want to. I want the kebab. Okay, so this everything kebab. The everything kebab. Yeah. Right. So, after um. Ashi's whole thing with the 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 
transformed rock. She just picks up this really shiny rock off the ground. Can I have a kebab? Cool, yeah, sure! And this <laughs> stall owner, same thing as always, takes the rock, holds it up to the light, and goes, eh, it looks like a dick. Stuffs it in her <laughs> pocket and hands you the, uh, the kebab. That's a nice compliment to the book, I guess. Is it a crock? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Wow. <laughs> that it quotes, that quotes. Just because you get a rock that's long and hard, you know. <laughs> the second I said it, I knew what I said. <laughs> We're adults. We're adults playing Dungeons and Dragons. I think I missed the whole progression of that, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have it to escalated. Back. It <laughs> escalated really quickly, just out of nowhere. Just if I recall correctly, because I yes, lost but... some brain cells. Um, Ahsoka handed a rock, I'm assuming, for trade for meat. Yep. And it happened to be a rather uh, what's the word? Phallic. Phallic? I thought I heard phallic? like another phallic, phallic and then... shaped rock, and the 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 vendor commented on it. And <laughs> Frappy called it a crock. Because <laughs> it looks like a cock. And it's a rock. Oh, oh my god. That's what that was. Okay. Oh, the Shoto so Todoroki Kenny in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so confused why I was laughing. I was like, I, is Croc supposed to be a sex joke I'm not getting here? Baby! <laughs> <sighs> wow, the second okay. I said it, I was like, oh no, I know exactly what I just said. Yep. No filter for I'm glad brain you did, and mouth. I was so lost. <laughs> so I think the only one that didn't get a kebab was Miss? I mean, I guess if everyone's having one and they're offering them for rocks. I mean, anything. Will. They were doing them for trade, and some people are being more generous than others. Well, Mist is going to um, pull one rock out of her pocket, and she's going to, like, shine it on her pant leg, and she will set it on the counter and say, one of your finest kebabs, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting kebabs, okay? <laughs> Y'all really liking the kebabs, okay? She okay. she takes the rock, stuffs it back in her pocket after looking at it, pulls out another kebab, holds it out, and goes, that all? Mist will take it and say thank you, and then she will pull out another rock and say, and for your trouble. And she <laughs> <walks away. laughs> oh I'm God. sorry. <laughs> You... I'm sorry, can you run that by me again? What? She tipped. She tipped <laughs> a rock. A rock. <laughs> you guys go ahead. I think I'm going to be okay in this town. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a pretty sound business plan. <laughs> Mist is in charge of all money, no matter where we go. <laughs> yes. Mist is in the gravel business. <laughs> Mist is an opportunist and I have to respect it. Listen. As she should be. <clears throat> Look. She is just doing her best with what she's given. I got a rock. <laughs> what a rock. <laughs> My mom got mad this year at Christmas. Every time she gave me like a large crystal, I would say that as I would open it. <laughs> and it doesn't get old for anyone. Wait, maybe it gets old for everyone but me. <laughs> I got a rock. Oh so, God. before you guys split off, you pass places like Maple's Mystery Mix, which is a booth with people crowded around it. You can't really see what's going on over their shoulders, but it seems like there's a bunch of excitement. You see mm -hmm. the dunk tank off in the distance. You see this big sign. It's a flapping banner where people are surrounded this big circle, looking down into the circle, and over the on the banner it says Rat Race. You see um, the muffin mixer on another sign where there's a bunch of different tables. 
and uh, off to the side you see the shops, like the actual shops. There are some other places, obviously. I'm just pointing out a couple things. I think I'll stop in my head. Well, I just wanted to go to the armor shop on the map that I saw. Mm -hmm. Or leather shop, sorry. All right. Before... Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, I will remind you, Miss, that mm -hmm. you did talk to the owner of the uh, leather shop. Yes. Uh, because there is an armory, but that's like on the other side. But there is the leather shop, and that's Pistachio. Pistachio did say that they had a stall around here somewhere that other people were manning. And that he just locked up his shop. So the leather shop is closed? At present, oh, but yeah. you kind of get that so feeling a... since it is a festival. They'll have a kiosk. Yeah. So we go to the armor shop or we look somewhere else? Let's look for the kiosk. Yeah, yeah you'll look for the booth. Because I'm looking for like the studded leather armor, so I don't know if that would be at an armory or a leather shop, I guess. The other kiosk. They're running a kiosk. So okay. Yeah. I don't understand where a kiosk would be. I don't see it on a map. Roll D twenty. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Panic. I didn't know those were options. I rolled a two. Yeah, you don't you don't see it. I told you. <laughs> Let's say for a point of brevity, you go all the way up to the leather shop and you knock on the door and nobody answers and you rattle the door and you realize, oh, it's locked. You come back. Well, if that's the case, Oji's going to take a look around for any, for, for the, actually, what he's going to do is he's going to take a sniff, and he's going to try to smell the distinct scent of what leather story would smell like, because leather has a smell, and smell like if a leather a kiosk, shop. Yeah, well, yes, I get that, I'm not smelling the leather shop, but if there's going to be a kiosk where there's a bunch of leather, the kiosk is going to smell like leather. So he's going to kind of be looking around, using his eyes, using his ears, and using his nose to kind of figure out where a leather kiosk would be. Okay. He's going to look around with his eyes. What else would he use? I don't know, he could use his, his feet. El he, 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 his elven eyes. Listen. <laughs> what do your elven eyes see? <laughs> Depends on what he rolls. What did you roll? My elven... <laughs> My elven ears hear you talking shit, Vatan. Uh, <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. You think that's a leather kiosk behind the junk booth? Okay. I think that's over there. I, I, I think I see some leather strips and stuff like that, so... Okay, well, I guess we can head that direction. So as you guys are eating, you pass by the dunk tank. Um, at present, someone is getting out of the dunk tank, and it is... Oh, it's good. It is a man with a big bushy beard and a soaked toga, and... He has like salt and pepper all over him, like, like color wise, mm -hmm. and he has big, burly, like hairy arms, and they're massive and they're like muscled. And he climbs out of the tank and he's soaking wet. And there's this teenage girl with like half of her head shaved, just howling with laughter, like clutching her gut, pointing at him as he just climbs out. And he just goes, "I'm never letting you do this, never again." And other people are talking to the person running said booth, and there's just a bunch of hubbub. So what would you guys like to do? Are we to the group that was going to the duct tank, or is so this far, one everybody's of Mr. In, Oji? Everybody's in front of the dunk tank, because they have to go by the dunk tank to get to the leather place. Oh. So they have have they not seen 
how it works yet. They just walked up to a guy getting out of it. Yeah, no, they haven't seen how it works. They just they just walked up to the dude getting out. Oh, uh, Zulamar's just gonna stand there looking to see what happens next. Right, is that all you guys are doing? Vitani will gonna... walk up. Vitani will walk up, look him up and down, just be like, "What happened to you?" Uh, this big burly man is looking at you as this teenager, still laughing, hands him a towel, and he goes, "But dunk, dunked." Yes. How's it work? Sit on the stool, somebody throws a ball, you get dunked. Probably not the activity for you. He's gonna you know pause what? and look at uh, Vitani and go, they just have to change up the water. At that, Zulamar's gonna go, what, what do you mean by that? Uh, you make a hot? He's going to point behind you guys. And you see, walking behind you, there is a man with long, like, elbow-length hair in, like, twisted braids. And he is a fire genasi. <gasps> like, not the first person here. Vitani just got very excited all of a sudden. But what are you going to replace it with? I don't know. Usually, I'm fine if water is really hot. You got something to heat all that up? Not my booth. I just got dunked. That's the Ooh. booth. And he points at another person who has twists in their hair, and they have cute little, like, fig leaves coming out of it. And they are giggling as this group of teenagers are trying to encourage what looks like a teacher in a button-up with glasses to sign up for the dunk tank. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just staring here. I'm just staring. I'm sitting here with a big fucking grin on my face. Oh my god. But Tony's just gonna be like, you know what? Hmm. If we can get this water hot, I want to try it. So she's gonna go over to the person who does, in fact, run the dunk tank and express this desire for hotter water. Alright, so you walk over and you walk over to Fig. Fig. Clickety clack clack. And Fig has a uh, dark, like, brown hair that's, like, pastel blue and purple at the end in the twist. Mm -hmm. And she looks at you and goes, uh, hi, how can I help you? Um, are you wanting to sign up? Uh, yeah, I was hoping to try out the dunk. Cool, you want to try it out? Um, so we have two options for people like you, Janafi, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Um, we can do, uh, boiling lava water. Or we can do, um, it's like, um, so, you know, like, Cool Whip? It's like that, but not edible. I mean, you could eat it. It just doesn't taste good. You know, I'm not even entirely sure what Cool Whip actually is. I think the hot lava water will do just fine. Okay, cool. Um, so just... Sign this sheet right here. And she turns around and she taps. There are two names in front of you. Um, just sign that, and then when it is your turn, I will call you over if you're here. If not, I will like message you, and then you can come over, and then your friends will have five chances to dunk you, and if they don't dunk you, then you get to dunk one of them if they agree to that, or you get a prize and you can go away. Or go about your business, I mean. Sorry, it's been a long night. <laughs> a year fine. Okay, alright. So, she signs. Cool. So, there are chairs and things if you guys want to sit down and wait for this. Or you can go and do another game. Depending on what you want. Because you do still have food as well. Yes. What would you guys like to do? 
hoping we can let Miss go, well, if Laurel's back, um, go check out the uh, leather shop while we eat. But um, we can play other games and stuff. Before the night is over, I want to do a drinking contest to see if this iteration of Raya can handle her liquor or not. Okay. I agree and would also like to join this contest. But that could be later, like after games and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so we're just uh, waiting, I guess. Uh, Laurel, are you back yet? Yep. Okay, cool. So we will move over while you guys sit and eat. Laurel, you and Aji head over to this kiosk that has a bunch of leather armor, leather bags, leather shirts, uh, assless chaps that are leather, aprons, all kinds of things. That's one what? I love it. And there's a group of people inside the stall selling wares, joking about, and uh, you see Pistachio hanging out with them, but as you come up before you can call out to him, he gives them a salute and walks off back into the crowd. So you guess this is his stall. But he left it? Yeah, he has people manning it on the inside. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, then Mist is going to go and she is going to walk inside the tent. Or the... Whatever it is. All right. Uh, Oji's going to follow and he's going to take a look at the quality of the leather and... Mm. It's all very fine quality. It's like hand-stitched, hand-done. Everything's really good. The seams are really tight. Uh, Oji just turns to Miss and just gives a, you know, a nod, a thumbs up. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, if it passes your inspection, then I think it should probably be okay enough for me for a while. <clears throat> and she's gonna give him a little grin. And she will, is there a counter or something? Uh, yes. There is a, a blue-skinned uh, woman who's sort of floating off the ground a little bit. She's got her legs crossed. And she is uh, sorting through these braided weaves of leather in front of her. And that's where people have been taking their wares or what they want and then trading for it. Mist is going to walk up to the counter feeling really confident. And from her fanny pack, she is going to dump out a pile of rocks onto the counter. <laughs> <laughs> As well as her, um, currently, the one that she currently wears, not on right now, um, her leather armor. And she is going to set that down beside and say, hi, I would like to trade this for some of your leather studded armor, please. And she'll give them a big smile. Uh, when you dump out everything and then you put your old leather armor on the counter, the woman looks up at you and you love that. This woman looks up at you and goes, uh, hello to you too. Um, so, the rocks. Are you wanting those on the studded leather armor that you're wanting to trade the old armor for? Or are those just for funsies? Well, I assume that I would have to pay a difference between the leather armor and the studded leather armor. And it seems that your people use... This is the currency here, so I am just trying to follow local customs. Oh, okay. So, the thing is, um, this is a business, and because it's a business, we actually need monetary things. Like, we will trade, but rocks are more for, like, food, or little trinkets for kids. Hmm. Like, I can trade you something, like, from your head, if you want. What are you doing in my head? Well, least, I can no, no, take out the first things. time you saw your least favorite color. I could <laughs> take out the worst smelling foods you've ever eaten. I could take out that time you stubbed your toe when you were four. Mm. Well, I don't know if I love the idea of anyone messing around in my head. But how about I trade you this one-of-a-kind pin? And she pulls out her little brother bishop pins and slides it across the table. Uh, she picks it up and turns it and goes, You know, 
I can give you about four studs for this. Huh. I don't understand how your value system works here. I'm sorry. That's completely okay. I can tell you new. So, four studs is about shoulder length. It will get you about a crop top of some armor, which isn't a lot. So if you have this and maybe something else, just anything really, that's not rocks, you should be covered. Um, sorry. No, it's okay, I laughed too. <laughs> sorry, YouTube, you don't, you don't get that joke. Mist is going to uh, pull out some, say, five of the pitons from her pack and say, will these do? Oh, yeah, those are fine. All right, so I need you to stand right there in that circle. And okay. she's going to stand up and her feet are actually going to touch the ground. She's going to go over to this rack of studded leather and she's going to flip through some and pull one out. And then she's going to take it over to you and put it against your chest and do some measurements with her fingers. All right, so this will take me about an mm, hour, hour and a half um, to resize it to you. And she's going to pull a tape measurer from around her neck, like a, like the fabric ones, and start taking your measurements. And she's doing it all quick while she's talking. So mm. while I do that, you can you can go and like. I don't know, have fun at the festival, just have fun in general. I'll call you if you write down your name on the table, there's a little sign-in sheet, you can come get it, I'll know you by face, I know everybody by face, they never forget a face. You just do that, and then you can come back and get it, it's already paid for. Uh, okay, thank you. You were very helpful, and she's gonna jot her information down on, or her name, I guess, down on the piece of paper, and then she's gonna look over to Oji and say, is there anything you wanted to get while we were here? Yeah, actually. Um, and I, I walk in like, uh, I'm not looking for any, like, manufactured goods. I'm just wondering if you have any scraps uh, that you have no need for anymore. And if so, I've got some scraps for, for, for some metal that you can use uh, to make grommets or whatever. And, uh, could do some tradesies. Scraps for scraps. Uh, but I'm getting kind of short on leather for my needs. But we do also just have leather bolts, if you prefer that. I don't really have a leather cutting tool. Uh, but actually, if you're still willing to take, um, you know, some some additional stuff um, that you could use, I could I could make that work. Sure, sure. All right, let me see what you got. Just put it on the table. Sure. Um, could, you um, have, could you get your friend to get the rocks off the table, though? Okay. Uh, I'll well, give them to someone who wants them, I guess. Some people are really excited about these rocks. She's going to shove them back into our fanny pack. Listen, if I were running one of the food stalls, that would be fine. But unfortunately, legitimate business, you know what it is. No, no, it's, it's, it's like we're learning the economy here. Um, I, I wave over Andrea, um, and I... Have Andrea turn around, and I start rummaging through the back of Andrea, and I put out uh, some scraps that are not projects that I'm working on that I haven't quite found a use for. Um, like if you need any of this broken down, I can do that for you as well. Like uh, I don't know exactly what you need, but I'm pretty sure that uh, some of these D rings here. Um, I, I point to how I've got too many D rings. I'm like I, I've got extra D rings and stuff like that, and I'm sure pretty sure that. Those come in handy. Uh, and I've got some extra grommets here that I don't need. Start putting all that little bric-a-brac down and other things as well. Uh, just little bits and bobs. While you're doing that, she's sorting it in front of you. Into a pile on the left and a pile on the right. And the pile on the yep. left is smaller than the pile on the right. That's okay. Um, I, I am a craftsman. I understand that not everything's going to be useful to her. And it, whatever she, however she sorts this, is entirely like I get it. I'm like, here you go. Do you need this? And as she sorts it out, the stuff that she doesn't find useful, I'm going to start filtering and putting less of that up. And 
so that I'm not wasting her time. Yeah. You eventually go through this process, and you give her a good pile, and she goes, Ah, oh, this is perfect. Um, alright, so... We have a vault in the back. I'll go get it. And by the back, I mean under the table. Do you want a cutter? I could use an extra cutter. Cool. Uh, and she ducks underneath this cashier's table, and she hoists up this very heavy-looking bolt and just thunk, thunk, onto the table. And then she sort of floats over to one of the other people behind her that are helping other people get sized, and she has a quiet conversation with them, and then she plucks something out of one of their aprons, comes over, and then just puts it on top of the big bolt. There you go. All right, Oji takes a look at the cutter. Very nice. Very good. That will do. Uh, do you guys do your own tanning, by the way? Yeah. Folds it up and it's like, you do fine work. I, I'm actually very, very pleased with this. This is going to be very useful and I appreciate it. Very, very useful. Very rugged. Pistachio oh, does good. great work. He does. He does. Uh, my compliments. You probably find him and thank him himself. I will, uh, Take a moment to do so. Oh, if you see him, can you tell him that Hemlock is looking for him? Uh, one moment, please. Um, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take out one of my little boxes. I'm gonna, could you repeat that? Hemlock is looking for Pistachio. He's in the minor tent. And then I do a little tap on the thing and her voice comes out of it. Excellent, I've got that. Play that for him. Awesome. You have a wonderful night. I'm going to go and back to selling things to people that don't actually want them. I, uh, wish you the best of luck with that. Yep. And then you guys are... Nice little... Oh, continue. That was a nice little stall. She was very pleasant. Best. I mean, I still don't understand their money. Well, some people like rocks, some people don't like rocks. How do you know who likes rocks here? Well, I mean... Uh, I pick nice rocks. Look, I'm just playing this by ear. I'm not a person here. I just... I'm just saying it was a lot easier when you could pickpock some, pickpocket someone and just use whatever money they had. Well, don't worry. I'm sure we'll find a place where you can get back to your old habits. I hope so. So, you guys head back to the dunk tank. Red, are you yes. back yet? I will take that as a no. So, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do this. Miss, roll me a d20. But I haven't been good at that. <laughs> I'm still not. It's a three. Cool. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Some stuff happens. Hi, Red, you're back. So are your friends. Which friend? <laughs> I'm not telling you shit, Drake. I'm Aji, sorry, what? Aji and Miss <laughs> have returned. They have oh, returned. Best friends. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Why did I figure that out? Dun dun dun. So, Vitani, you hear your name called. Uh huh. And. Do you want to take off your armor and things before you get into the dunk tank, or...? We're in our... Our, our, our... You're in your below clothes, but you also have, like, there your bags and things. Well... I'm going to strip down as much as is socially acceptable. <laughs> and leave I mean, you're already... Those... <laughs> you're already scantily clad. Exactly! <laughs> And I will leave everything else with the group and take my place in the dunk. Uh, so, as you go to climb onto the ladder, mm -hmm. Yuji and Nobara start climbing up first. 
Oh, you guys coming with me? They you don't have to. They are already up there waiting on you. <laughs> the are just gonna go. How do we know that boiling lava water is safe for them, though? Well, they like my body. They like heat. I'm True. I'm just assuming they know what's good for them. They can fly off if they want at any point. Valid point. <clears throat> so you not are... me treating my children like consenting adults. <laughs> <laughs> you are sat on the board. You are told there is a button right back here. If a child comes and you feel bad for them, you can just elbow it. It will dunk you in the tank. Your Aww. friends are given five balls to distribute between whoever whoever wants to throw them, and they have five shots. How this is going to work is you are going to take 1d6, and you are going to roll it. If you roll a 1, you hit. If you roll a 6, you hit. If you roll anything else, you miss. <laughs> so each of us who decide to throw are yes. rolling? and I will let you guys decide who wants to throw, or how many times, or whatever. You have five balls. Well, so now that Zulamar understands... Throw once, right? That's enough for all of you to throw once, yeah. Zulamar goes, I want the first throw. I think I deserve <laughs> it as best friend status. <laughs> now that I understand I about what this is. <laughs> well, I, I, I suppose that's fair, given that uh, you've formed your campaign of villainy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to win something, can't don't I? Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god! Give it your best shot. Oh, okay. I will. <laughs> if you can, I'm talking, gonna taunt the shit out of all of them. Is that Child intimidation? Huh? Is that intimidation? Is here? Maybe. Sick. Can I, can I roll for that? <laughs> No, nah, she's not. She's, she's not actually gonna intimidate, but she will taunt. Is there a role for <laughs> aggravate? <laughs> Did you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got a six. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> One second. Uh, I didn't roll anything. I just dropped something. Is there a role for aggravate? All right. So, Zulamar watches you taunt your friends, and as you're, you know, shouting at, I don't know, we'll say you're shouting at Ahsoka, Zulamar takes this ball, hefts it once, and then chucks it with the force of, I did axe throwing once, hits it square on, and both Yuji and Nabara make this sound like, oh no. And they start flying, and you immediately go, what? And before you get the word out properly, you are dunked into this water <laughs> and just just you just your ass hits the bottom of the tank ow and you hear people just uproariously laughing and then as you get to the top you realize that while this water is very warm it feels kind of cold but not in a way that's like bad it's just kind of like a mm, yep i definitely just got dunked in something the humiliation is real <laughs> After the, talking such shit, too. The seat is propped back up, and the woman running the show, Fig, goes, You got four more. <laughs> shit. Zulamar uh, takes a quick bow and then kind of like uh, gestures openly to say, like, Who's next? Come on up. Vitani climbs back up into her seat. First, she looks up at her children and addresses them. You two are cowards. They nod. Then, <laughs> they nod? Yeah. <laughs> and then she points to them, to Zulamar specifically, and says, You are a bitch. <laughs> He's just gonna grin at her and be like, oh, This is great. <laughs> I'll take a whack at it next. All right, go for it, Ahsoka. It's a D six, correct? Yep. On a one or a six, it hits. Five. 
Nope. You get around the circle, but not on the circle. Damn it. <laughs> nice try! Nice try! <laughs> I can't get my reference. <laughs> I haven't made a BNHA one in so long. Alright, who's going next? A BNHA one. Oh. Oh, missed. Oh, no, missed one for the last. Oh, yeah, missed one for the last. Well, do you want another throw at it, Zulema? And Rhea will offer her. <laughs> Did you not want to do it, Rhea? I'll let Zuli have another <laughs> if he wants it. Oh, he'll totally take it. He's just going to go, Are you sure, Rhea? You don't want to try, get, try yeah. your hand at it? You could take it. I feel like this is some pent up. <laughs> I feel like this is some sibling sibling rivalry shit that's been building for years. I don't want to step in between that. <laughs> but I was just gonna take that ball and be like, and look right at right at Vitani and be like, "Let's try this again. Try me, bitch." <laughs> Not it's four. He whiffs it. Uh, yep, thing. you wish ah! it. He's like, well, can't win them all. Right. Who's going next? I think I think it's time for OG to step up. Who am I gonna clap for OG? Just all looks right. at the time and looks at Zulamar and says, Well one of us actually uses a throwing weapon, so See how this turns out. Listen, old man, if you need to step a little closer, you can. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I want it a little bit more now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gif and dice jail for me. Oh no, it's great. Especially it's since to... you know Maki intent did it on purpose. Yep. <laughs> He sits there and he just winds up. And then he goes, wait a minute, I didn't actually enchant this ball. I'm gonna miss. And just like, woof. Tries to get a curve on it, but he doesn't know how to curve a ball that he hasn't enchanted. A hammer he could do. He could bounce that so he could do bank shots, but not this ball. He just whiffs. He's just like, mm, you're lucky this day. Ah! All right. <laughs> That means there's only one, one ball left, and Mist said she wanted it. If that's okay with everyone else. Uh huh. Oh, be our guest. Mist is going. Oh, she to... just like whispers to Mist, "Shut her up for me." <laughs> Mist is going to take the last ball in her hand, and she's going to kind of like toss it as she eyes Vitani, and she's going to look at her and be like, "So, I guess you're pretty thirsty. Maybe you should take a dip." And she's, you can see the way her back paws dig into the dirt and she sprints forward in a way that only a cat does and punches the lever with her hand. Oh. <laughs> Soka, you, you watch this happen and you hear the splash. Uh, it almost comes out to like hit you guys but you see like there's this sort of invisible force field since it is very hot water uh vitani you get dunked you get dunked so hard it's embarrassing once again but when you come up uh you notice that yuji and nabara aren't there anymore where'd they go so as you climb onto the seat because you have to get onto the seat to get out of the tank mm -hmm. i want you to make a perception check okay <clears throat> that oh wow that's a nat 20. hey 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 yeah what was this? All perception? All perception. Altogether, it's a 22. Army. Perception. 
So you're waiting for them to put the step ladder down so you can get off of this. And then you hear this little chitter that you know very well. This little chirp. Sweet little sound. And you turn and you see that Yuji and Nobara are hovering in front of the dunk button. Looking directly at you. Don't. 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 <laughs> don't. Don't you do it. Do, do it. Do not. Do it. Do, do not. It. The Lamar do Stevenson is also do like, it. do it. Can the mama start? deserves yeah. have some fun, do children. It. Do it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do not. <laughs> Yuji. Nopara. <coughs> I will them, not let you be in my furs. Both of them dunk you at the same time. <laughs> Uncle says, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> like, both of them just reach out with their paws and then just push. <laughs> and into the water you go. Mist is gonna, like, look over at Oshi and just quietly whisper, maybe the monster adopting wasn't the worst idea we've had. <laughs> Azuma's gonna get so excited, he's gonna run up and be like, Here's the piece of my kebab, and he holds it out to them as a reward. Uh, they are going to are growing on me. <laughs> they are going to nibble on their their gifted feast. Uh, and as Vitani, you are eventually helped out. You're given a big towel, and you're set in this sort of space off to the side where you are slowly warmed up magically. <laughs> <laughs> They're totally getting you back for being tell, calling them cowards. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what would you guys like to do now that Vitani is a drowned rat? I don't know if we can talk that. Um, I'm gonna open one of my books and uh, offer the towel that's hidden within. <laughs> you can, in fact, offer the towel. Tani will take it graciously. Say uh, thank you. You seem to dry a lot faster. Oh. Oh, I That's like good these. Towel. <laughs> Oji always has the best towels. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. So she's drying herself off. So as for things that you guys could do, there are some other games. There's the Rat Race. There's Maple's Mystery Mix. There's the um, muffin mixer. There would be, at the end, is going to be the drinking. Is there ski ball? <laughs> There's probably ski ball. You probably find some ski ball. Cool. Oh my god, cornhole. Oh, there's probably cornhole. I mean, that is the festival version of ski ball. Yeah, it really is, though. What Wait, like what what was some of the, the, the fancy name ones again? Uh Maple's Mystery Mix. There's Rat Race. There's the Muffin Mixer. Uh you guys went to the dunk tank. There is um the drinking game, but that's what you guys wanted to do last. Huh? And then obviously there's other like actual fair games. Uh there's card games, like balloon topper games, things like that. What's muffin mixer? Do you want to go see? Huh. Yeah. Oh. It sounds like a build a bear, but for snacks, let's go. Does it involve muffins? Because I could totally go for a dessert right now. It definitely involves muffins. You do see tables with muffins on them. Yum. You also see a big sign up sheet, and you yeah. see that you can be in teams of two, or you can try this solo. Hmm. We want to team up. Who are you talking to? Oh, I just meant in general, unless you want to team up. Zuluma looks at herself and goes, You can be my teammate. That sounds fun. Let's do it. I don't even know what this is yet, but we'll figure it out. Whatever it is, it looks delicious. <laughs> you guys signing up? So Mist, Mist, do, you think sure. and say, do you want to play? Well, this is either going to be eating muffins, in which case you're going to dominate them, or it's going to be making muffins. 
Jones, in which case I'm going to dominate them. Let's go. <laughs> you should have a secret handshake. Uh, Zuma is going to go look at uh, Ahsoka and be like, did you want to team up or are going to sit this one out? Tieflings, Tieflings, Tieflings. Oh, yes, Tiefling buddies. Tiefling squad. Oh, you guys have to. Did Fappy disappear? Oh no, I'm here. Sorry. Oh hi. <laughs> You're us, okay. Yeah, Tiefling squad. All right. All right. So the teams are going to be Zulamar and Ahsoka, Vitani and Rhea. And Aji and Miss? Yeah. Cool. I want you also to know that Vitani and Yuji have entered themselves. Hmm. Oh, Nobari and Yuji? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. <laughs> Listen. I'm, so, I'm so happy they're getting in on this. Uh, they sign their names by taking one of the pens, chewing off the end, getting the ink on their hands, and pressing their hands to the paper. That's cute. Oh, I love them. Oh, while doing a gigantic screech, going. <laughs> Becoming more intelligent by the day. It's startling. <laughs> They're gonna grow up so fast. <laughs> Zuma uh, watches this and goes, Sorry, you might need to replace your pen. Uh, the dude that's running it says there's plenty more. Cool. Good. <laughs> muffin mixer? Is that what this is called? Yes, the muffin mixer. I'm looking something up right now. Okay. I've never even heard of anything called Muffin Mixer. It'd be interesting. <laughs> oh. Have we literally heard of anything that's in Sona's game? <laughs> there we go. No. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are directed to different tables. Mm -hmm. And on these tables are these round, like, golden platters. And you see that people are all starting to gather around and everybody sitting down with one another, across from one another. Some people look like they're competing, other people look like they're on teams. Everybody's waiting for the signal. A man stands up on the onto a podium. He blows a whistle to get everybody's attention, or the short, like, you know, those... What are those? Those gym teachers who will just, like, do the, the short burst whistles? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he says, All right, we know how this goes. Whoever drops first gets a prize. Whoever drops last gets a prize. Uh, could you explain what we're trying to do, please? I never played this. Uh, the man looks so startled that you've never played Muffin Mixer. He's just, how, how dare you? And he says, <laughs> the kneading contest. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Clear your plate. Clear your plate. Okay. Since you're new, At this, this, is, point, this is all uh, fey food. It's not gonna fuck with you. You're probably gonna vomit, but you'll be fine in a few minutes. All right. And he holds up his hand and he goes, "Are there any objections?" How much is on my plates? You don't know yet. The plates are empty. Oh, they're empty. Okay. Oh shit. I've got the <laughs> Oh shit. We did just. There's no objections here. <laughs> No objections, but while he's waiting for objections, Vitani's gonna lean over to Rhea and put a hand on her shoulder. Tell me the minute you start feeling nauseous, I can make that go away. Oh, Zuma's gonna be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna start the first round in three, two, one. And as he drops his hand, all of the plates fill with various big chocolate triple tier cake. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh no, this is like Matilda. Like, hold on, like <laughs> wedding size triple tier cake? Wedding size. They're very big triple tier of cake. Oh. And people are grabbing it and starting to eat. I want everybody so, but... to roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> one cake oh, per oh. for 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 one team, or is it two cakes? One cake. Okay. Okay. That's a little less terrifying. Nice. That is a 
21. 21 17. as well. Excellent. Oh, yeah, Barbarian Squad. Nat- natural 20. Oh, shit. 24 oh. after adjustment. <gasps> oh, wow. Ozzy for cake. Uh, is everybody putting what they've rolled in dice jail? Yes. yes. Lamar got a five. Oh, pobrecito. Right. It's okay, I got a 17. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I... Are you rolling for Yuji and Obara? I was rolling for Yuji and Obara, and they rolled a 19 and a 20. Oh my god. <laughs> As they should. <laughs> I came to win. <laughs> <laughs> Mist and Oji have never had a day at the carnival, so they're taking this seriously. <laughs> I take it you're saving throw like high as constitution then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do have advantage on cons. Oh my god. <laughs> um Oji was made for this game. Zulamar. You I you are not a big cake fan, apparently. <laughs> oh. Oh, nope. You think, I've got this. There's no way I don't got this. You take two handfuls of bites and then go, This is not how I want to eat cake. <laughs> and you go, No, I can do this. I, I'm going to do this for my friend. This <laughs> is absolutely disgusting. And you end up tapping out first. Ahsoka, you have the option to continue by yourself or to drop out with your partner. What happens if I drop out by myself? Or if I continue by myself? You get the same amount of food and it's just one, it's just you. Okay. Having two people means that you have the food because you both of you are trying to eat it, but. Is it like a disadvantage roll? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a, it's a disadvantage Wait, okay, roll. so there's more than just this that we have to eat? There's gonna be more later? Yeah, but it's fey food, so after the first round, it feels like you haven't eaten anything. Oh, so, so it's like magic, boys and girls. There's, a, there's rounds, and yeah. after each round, you kind of, it disappears. Yeah, it's, it's thinning the herd. Zulamar, you will get a prize because you were the first to tap. <laughs> oh, okay. I think for the sake of the team, I'm going to keep going. Just, All right. just yeah, Zuma's gonna be like, I'm so sorry, it's so good. It's, it's okay. So I got this. I got this. This is so fucking good. <laughs> this is so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, OG is just like, while, while he's getting, like, while he's eating the first one, he plays the smart. He's got Andrea, puts down a cup, puts one of the, ever, the the water creation stones that we have into the cup. He reaches over. He'll drink a little bit of water. He'll wash it down. He's playing this smart. He knows how to eat this rich substance, and he's not going to be taken down by this. All right. Next round is going to start. The man lifts his hand into the air. Going to start. In three, two, one. And when he drops his hand, the plates are cleared. And instead of cake, there is a heaping, steaming pile of lasagna. It's about <gasps> oh, eight yum. <laughs> It's We're eight really tiers awesome. tall. Is how? Eight. Damn. So roll your constitution saving checks. Okay, okay. Lord help me now. 18 17. plus 2 is a dirty 20. Nice. You're a dirty 20. I <laughs> am. I was just playing smart. Ray and Vitani are just barbarians. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we roll for the babies. The babies? Uh, so Yuji turns out does not like lasagna. Oh no. Hating about this. It's too much. It's just not mm-mm, too much. Nobara is like, fuck off then, and eats his half. 
<laughs> Nobara is still in. Yuji is out. Yuji comes to sit on your lap to encourage mm-hmm. you and also, while it may be fey food, belly ache. Oh. Aww. Aww. So you guys are all in. Ahsoka, skin of your teeth. Skin of your teeth. Damn. <laughs> I love lasagna, okay? <laughs> <laughs> The, I don't know what lasagna is, but I love it. The, uh, it gets higher and higher. The okay. roll check. Okay. I bet you that one was like a 10. That one was a 10. Exactly a 10. Oh. Alright. Man raises his arm again. Alright. Three, two, one. In front of you, lasagna disappears. Instead, there are hamburgers. Oh, yum. And they are in like a, a sort of pyramid formation. You don't know how many they are, there are, but they're the big beefy kind. Some of them have cheese, some of them do not. <laughs> Sliders. No. Are you okay, okay? No! What did you do? Uh, no! What no! did you do? I rolled a 10. No! Ooh. Is that with your constitution saving throw? Like... Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. oh. Sucks to suck. All right. <laughs> so, barely hanging on, you've got Nobara, Mist, and Rhea. Aji, they're delicious. They're so good. Can't do it. You just can't do it. <laughs> you tap out. You're like, mm-mm. I'm good. Those are like so, White Castle burgers. <laughs> Mist, do you want to keep going by yourself? Or tap out as a team? Oh, you know we're keeping going. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this is open? <laughs> We're getting up there. Up. <laughs> so that means the only ones left are Rhea, Vitani, Ahsoka, and Nobara. Along with, you know, maybe some like other random. Is Miss still in this? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. is... We're not going down without a fight. Right, so that's <laughs> five from your group. We'll say three other people. <sighs> Oh, and this dice is starting to fail me. Maybe I should switch it up. Oh, God. I'm getting nervous. Is Nobara still in? Yeah. Yeah, Nobara's still okay. in. Cool. Gonna start the next round in three, two, one. Plates are cleared. A very large pizza with various toppings is in front of you guys. It's big. I don't Brooklyn know what style. the hell this is, but I'm scared. Doesn't it, though? Okay. Roll your phone. Okay, okay. And it's, on, it's like, deep dish. Oh, no, I think I might be out. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, whoa, whoa, Ahsoka! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait, Rhea. Rhea leans over and tells Batani that she's getting the, the nauseous feelings. May I use my cantrip to save her? Yes, you can reroll. Hell yeah, yes. I was thinking- Okay, I'm rolling Aww. this dice. I knew that one would betray me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, Gone, nausea. One, two. Yes! <laughs> Got an 18 on the die. Cool. All right. Nobara, out. She's too much. Too much. Delicious! Oh. Uh, sort of lays on top of this entire pizza and just kind of goes, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mist, unfortunately, you hit the cap at the mark. So you are out. That just leaves Ahsoka. Yeah, that just leaves like... Ahsoka, Rhea, Batani, and one other person. There was like one last slice left. <laughs> Alright. So for the last final round, it's less about finishing your plate and more about endurance. Everyone else. 
Oh, <laughs> the God. three of you that are left, roll me a perception check. <clears throat> oh, perception. Perception. Add two. Oh, 16 plus whatever. Where's my perception? That's an 18 for me. I Ooh. have a 7. Alright. And a 19. Crunch, crunch. The guy next to us is chewing so loudly. <laughs> that final person besides the three of you. Mm -hmm. um, Ahsoka, you're more focused on figuring out how you're going to do this endurance round. You got this. You know that you got to eat. You can pack it in slowly. You don't got to rush. You just got to keep going until the end. <laughs> you two, yeah. Vitani and Rhea, you decide to scope out the competition and you turn over to the final table. Everyone else is still sort of sitting at their table, but they're all just kind of like, ugh, food coma. And then you see the last man sitting there. And he cracks his neck, and he looks over at you, and he nods. And it's dust. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is the going down. I was losing so much earlier. Oh. <laughs> no, but yeah. one thing he's good at. We're kicking his ass. We gotta. <laughs> We got this, Rhea. Hopefully, you've already saved my ass once. <laughs> Remember that your uh, your cantrip does have a cooldown, doesn't it? Does it? I don't remember. Double Let check it again. I wrote it down. Probably. That was like once an hour. Look, if I go down, it's fine though. You you keep going. <laughs> oh, this is the last round. You can do it. Oh my god. I don't know if I actually wrote it down. If it does or not. It should be in um, the Saint Sister, isn't it? Let me see. It's either in Saint Sister or in your um, like private notes. Probably. Yeah. Hair of the dog. Love that that's what you called it, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see. All you said about it was me. What's my cantrip called? You, hair of the dog, or whatever you want to call it. Some of them I let other people name. I said I like it. What exactly does it do? Uh, you can cure your own hangovers with a touch and get rid of someone else's nausea. Cool. No cooldown. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So. The man comes back onto the podium and he says, Endurance is a ready, endurance is a go. In three, two, one. And on your plates, you see muffins covered with icing, some covered with candy, some covered with chocolate. And the whenever you pick one up off of the plate, another one reappears. Roll the first round of Constitution. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. I am going to grab something. <clears throat> I know that I said I was going to use the black light dice, but if I want dust to have a chance, <laughs> grab on, uh, I'm you know what? The DM I want dice. one of us to win, but I want dust to win. <laughs> I know this is awful. All right, good, good. So all of you. Make it through the first round, including dust. Go oh, dust. <laughs> All right, next round. All right, let's see. Come on. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I got 15. Make sure you write down what you got. Nice. And what are they eating? Muffins. Muffins. Oh, okay. Are we still beating a like a number or are we beating each other at this point? You're beating a number. Okay. So far. Uh we're just waiting for red. I put mine in already. Did you? 
Where? Yeah. It was Ahsoka 16 and then me 21. No, we have to do it again. Round, round two. No, you have to roll the second round. <gasps> Wait, when did we start the second round? Just, Just now. now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hold on a second. All right. Yeah. So you all pass the second round. Third round, somebody needs to get out. <laughs> Look, Sorry. if we know advice. if we know how to do anything in Made of Mothers, eat. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Iron gut belly. Gut wow, fuck. I'm... <laughs> Iron gut bellies. Alright. Roll for round three. Alright. I'm just gonna put a dot right here. It's me. I'm out. Mm. Oh man. Oh Raya, no. Raya, no. It's okay. Let me go. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> Kick a circus ass. I'm gonna have to use the cantrip on myself instead of on you. <laughs> Definitely are or because Dust rolled a 16. Fuck! Okay, yeah. So, can't trip on I'm me, out. I'm re rolling. Sorry, Zulamar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zulamar. <laughs> oh, muffins. It's okay. Jesus Christ, you Dust. did your best. You, were, you held out for a long time. Okay, dirty 20. Cool, cool, cool. Now we're Wait, gonna. How many rounds is this? Until everybody's out. Well, I, I was keeping track of the rounds. This will be um, round four. Who wants a muffin? Oh, the, that they just so rolled? Full. Yeah, now it's more about who's outlasting who. Okay. So round four, it's down to Vitani and Dust? Vitani, uh -huh. Ahsoka, and Dust. Okay. Oh, shit. So I'm still in. Mm -hmm. so I'm still in. Weapon. Yeah, because this, when it started with round three, it was less about could you roll to keep going and more who's going to get out first. Because you guys oh. rolled so high in the last So round. because I was out first. Oh. So I'm still in this. Oh, okay. so whoever rolled lowest is the one that was out. Yeah. Gotcha. So, roll again. So this next one is round five? Yep. That rolled off on the table. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ahsoka, you are out. Peace. Shit, shit, shit. Baby boy rolled an 18 as well. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled this die out specifically so I could give Dust a chance. Dust! Oh <laughs> Come on, Dust! <laughs> Are you serious to cheer for Dust right now? Dust, Dust. <laughs> all, of your friends, all of your friends Vitani. are sitting there going, Dust, <laughs> Dust, Dust, and you're like, what the fuck? While stuffing Who muffins in your mouth. for Vitani? I'm, I'm going. I'm going in between the bowls. I'm just like dust, Vitani, dust, Vitani, dust, Vitani. Yeah, amazing. All right, let's... I would love Vitani to win, but also like I love this boy. <laughs> Someone's got loyalty. <laughs> You're right. Last round. Oh God! Please be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. <laughs> Why would you let me die? <laughs> We're gonna have to roll again. I also rolled a nineteen. Oh, I did. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna change my roll. I will take a picture if you want to, but I rolled. Let me know what you did. I rolled a 15. Let's roll a 17. Wait. Uh, Are you going? I rolled, a, I rolled a 15 before my con addition, so it's a 17. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they are neck and neck. <laughs> okay, so are you gonna let Dust have this or are you gonna are you gonna keep it going? Uh, Vitani are... came to win! 
they're eyeing each other as they're eating. It's It'd like be, it would be a cheap win if I just let him have it. A Vitani right. would be so mad if someone did that for her. Fair. <laughs> roll your roll. I rolled mine. I'm not gonna change it. Oh god, okay. Prolonged eye contact. <laughs> Prolonged eye contact. Oh, okay. nat, it's, it's a nat 20. <laughs> Alright. Let me write that down. Holy shit. Muffin. <laughs> so, Vitani, your friends, while going back and forth between rooting for you and rooting for Dust, you watch them and you look over at Dust, and he nods at you, and he has a cup- he has a muffin, not a cup, a muffin, toward his mouth, and he stops. And you see him visibly swallow, and he takes a second and his eyes glaze over, he puts it back in his mouth, and he chews, and he puts the rest of it down, he shakes his head, and he puts his hand up. He's out. Oh my god. <laughs> he rolled an 11. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. So, congratulations. You both won the Fae Eating <laughs> Contest and stole the win from a man who never wins anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dust won a boyfriend in the last game. We he can't did. say he never wins anything. That's not this game, though. <laughs> Who am I just die? gonna go up and and pat and uh, comfort? Wrap his arm. Yeah, he's gonna wrap his arms around Vitani and just be like, "You did good." And he's gonna just do a thumbs up to Dust and be like, "You also did a great job." Dust is just leaning back in the chair, waiting for the magical effect of the Fey food to get out of his system, so he doesn't feel like he's about to pop like a balloon. <laughs> For real, Vitani's sitting there like, oh, don't touch oh. me. <laughs> oh <my God. gasps> go. I love that. Ooh, I win. For tapping out first, and my best friend is gonna win for tapping out last. <laughs> All right, let me see what you guys get. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to send something to each of you privately. Give me a second. Whoa, the floor. That's for you. Don't say what it is yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's for you. Don't say what it is yet. You are okay. given these items in little black velvet bags, patted on the back. And free to go do what you would like to do. You can examine them if you want. As soon as you take them out of the bag, you know what to do. <clears throat> okay, he takes those out of the bag. But then the description confuses me. What's confusing about it? It falls to the ground. It's got to be activated. I know, but when it's activated, it falls to the ground. I'm confused about, like, how... Th That's all it does. When you activate it, it does that. It falls to the ground. So it... Wait, so it doesn't... Do anything for nope. the person that's using. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Take that to the name literally. Yes. Okay. That's what you get for tapping out first. 
That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I have a question for you, a wise DM, sir. Yes. In the chat. Oh, okay. So. Hmm. Uh, once a month. Interesting. Okay. Is that a period? Is that what happened? Is that what you got? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to. How dare you? <laughs> Hilarious guess, but no. <laughs> Alright, so we've been going for about two hours. Is it alright if I pause it here? And yes. yeah, then come back I, in a minute? I was, was yeah. going to say, I'm tired. Alright, or do we just want to end the session then? And then pick it up next, whenever? If you're, I mean, we can do that if you're okay with continuing still like festival games for a third week. I'm yeah. totally down. There's a ton you guys haven't even gotten to yet. Okay. <gasps> I'm down for this as well. Then yeah, yes. let's, we can stop here for this week and then uh, yeah. pick it up. Hmm. Alright. So I'm going to stop the recording in three, two, one.